Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel 3 Diest. In this video, we are going to practice this model inside Fusion 360 and we'll explore solid modeling workspace. I will explain you the right approach to model this part inside Fusion 360. This is tutorial exercise 11 and if you have not watched my other tutorials on Fusion 360, go and check it out. In this video, I am going to refer this technical drawing. So if you want to practice with me, you can download this exercise file from the link provided in the video description below. So without wasting much time, let's dive into Fusion 360. So we are into Fusion 360 now. So here you can see uh, whenever you will first launch your Fusion 360, there will be a drawing space opened with name untitled here. And uh, this is the drawing file you will get by default. So let's first save this file. So we'll go on to the data panel over here and we'll go on to the right project. So here you can see these are all my projects. So we'll go on to the YouTube project to save my file. So I will just double click to open it. Here you can see. And now I'm going to save inside any of the folders. So here you can see this is my exercise folder and inside which I'm going to save my file. So I will just double click to open and here you can see these are the already saved files inside this folder. So uh, what I'm going to do is I will click on the save here and we'll rename this file. We'll give it a name. Uh, this one is exercise 11. So I will write exercise 11 over here. And here you can see I will click on the save to save this file. And here you can see the file got saved. The name has been updated and also you can inside this data panel. Now I can close this data panel since the work of this data panel is over from here. So here you can see now the next thing is that I have to check my document settings. So here you can see if I expand it from here, these are my units. So these are the units I am following right now, the millimeters. So this is correct now. So we'll leave this side like this. So the next thing we'll make sure that the design history is turned on. So this bottom panel over here shows that my design history is turned on. If this is not turned on, just make a right click over here. And from here, you can check the design history is turned on or off. So now we are ready to start model our uh, part inside Fusion 360. So we'll start with the sketch. We'll click on the create a sketch. Then we'll select the this top plane as a sketch plane. So we'll click on that. And here you can see uh, the tools are active now. The environment has been changed to a sketching environment. Now uh, what I have to do is uh, I will just click on the view cube here to go on to the top view. So here you can see on this face I will just click and now we are into the top view. Now we'll activate the circle tool from here. This is the center diameter circle tool. I will just activate this circle tool. So just click on that and then we'll select the origin where I want to create my circle and we'll drag it outside like this. So I can, uh, here you can see the input box here. If I want to input the dimensions, I can input it right now also. Also, if you, if you want to input it later, just delete this dimension. Uh, just select the dimension and delete. Now you can see I'm able to change the size of the circle. I will now activate my sketch dimension tool. We'll select the entity that I want to dimension and we'll drag it outside like this and we'll pro input the details. Here you can see. So this is the circle we had created. Now uh, I will just click on the finish the sketch since we are done with this uh, circle. Uh, this is completely defined as well since we had already provided the dimensions. So I will just click on the finish the sketch over here. Here you can see now I will activate my orbit tool and will orbit it a little bit. So whenever you are using any tool, just press escape to come out of this. So now I will activate my extrude tool and here you can see the profile is already selected by default and I can just drag it like this and give the dimensions up to which I want to extrude. So the, this distance, I just want to keep 45, here you can see and we'll press OK to accept the results. And this is what we had created. So this is the first 3D model that we had created inside Fusion 360. So now we'll move on to creating some other features on this face. So I had selected the face and then we'll click on the create a sketch. Then we'll go on to the top view. And here you can see now we are on the top view. Now the next thing is that we are going to create a circle somewhere over here. So we'll activate our circle tool and we'll create a circle like this. Here you can see and I will create one more circle like this using the same center. Now I have to make sure that uh, the circle center and the origin on the same collinear vertical position. So I had selected both the points and will apply this constraint. Here you can see. Now they are both in same position. Now if you try to move, I am able to move only in the vertical position. So uh, it has been defined in one single direction. So the next thing that uh, will activate our line tool, we'll click on the perimeter of the this circle then on this circle I will make sure that both I am touching on both the 
points on the circle and the perimeter now i will select both the lines and will make the, the both the lines as a vertical line here you can see i had just applied the constraint by selecting the lines and uh, those all two lines converted to vertical lines so this is the shape we got the next thing will define this uh, diameter of this circle so this one i just want to keep 36 millimeter in diameter we had to change this dimension we'll change that to 34 and now uh, we'll define the other circle uh, oh, sorry not this one i mean the inside one so we'll drag it a little bit towards downward and then we'll define this inner circle so this one i just want to keep 20 millimeters and here you can see and the next thing is that i need to define the position of the center of the circles from the origin so i will select both the points activating the dimension tool and then we'll define this dimension this one i just want to keep 60 so here you can see everything has been constrained now since we have defined all the things so now we'll create two more circles at the center at the origin so i had activated the circle tool then we'll create two more circles like this and now i will define the dimension of both the circles so for all the details and dimensions you can just refer to our technical drawings you can download that technical drawing from the video description below i had provided the link just go and download that drawing and from there you can just follow all the details dimensions uh, if you want to practice fusion 360 so here you can see we had created two circles and defined so now we are done with the sketching on this phase now can just click on finish the sketch over here to finish this sketch here you can see uh, now I will orbit a little bit and to see a better view. Now I am going to activate my extrude tool. Now I will activate my extrude tool and will select the profile. So these are all the three profiles that I want to extrude by minus 20 millimeters to a downward. So here you can see uh, we had created a cut like this and then we'll turn on the sketch again. Now we'll activate the extrude tool again and we'll select this profile and this time I want to extrude up to the other side of the face. So I will just select the face up to which I want to extrude. So here you can see it is making a through cut. So I will just press OK to accept the results. So this is what we got. Here you can see. And now we'll move on to the other profile. So before that, uh, uh, what I want to do, I will just turn off the sketch. Then we'll select uh, these two features over here in the design uh, at the bottom. Uh, here you can see I will activate my circular pattern tool. And here you can see the uh, two features are already selected. Uh, here I have to change these two features, then I can select these two features. And then I have to select the axis along which I want to uh, pattern this particular features. So I have just selected the axis and will provide number of quantity. So four times I want to pattern and here you can see this is the result we got. So it was very quick. Uh, we had just created one uh, feature and we had just patterned it over uh, by 360 degree angle by four number of times. Now I will select uh, the inner profile uh, and will activate the extrude tool and these two profiles I want to extrude by minus 15 millimeter and will press OK and now I will activate extrude tool again will extrude this by up to the bottom face here you can see it's a through cut so through hole so it is like this I will press OK to accept the result so here you can see this is what we got up to this point so uh, we are almost near to done and we had completed this model by up to 80%. So now we'll move on to the inspect tool over here. Here you can see, and I will activate a section analysis tool over here. Here you can see, this is the new tool that I'm going to introduce you. So now I have to select the plane along which I want to see my axis. So I will turn off the body and will select the plane. If I again turn on the body, here you can see, it is giving me a preview along this plane. So if I cut this body along this plane like this, it is going to look something like this. Now I will activate my sketch tool. We'll select this plane, front plane as a sketch plane. Here you can see. And now I'm going to create a triangle over here. So I will activate my line tool. Uh, we'll create a line like this. Here you can see at a particular angle and then i will create a line like horizontal line like this here you can see and then i have to connect this from this point to this point and i have to make sure that the origin and this tip is on the same vertical position so i had applied the constraint by selecting both the points and the next thing is that we want this point and this line to be coincident so i had applied the coincident constraint and now i want uh, this line to be vertical so i will apply the vertical constraint and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the angle between this horizontal line and this inclined line over here and we'll define this one as 10 degree here you can see and now I'm going to define the uh, length of this line so this one I just want to keep 80 millimeters so I will just write 80 over here and here you can see so this is what we created now we are going to uh, make this rectangle on the other side of the this body as well so i will uh, just activate my line tool again from here 
and we'll create a triangle like this here you can see this time i'm just doing it a little quickly and we'll make sure that this line and this line are equal so i just selected the line and applied the equal constraint then we'll select this line and this line are equal so i had selected the line and applied the equal constraint and now it is completely defined now i can just click on finish the sketch and here is our result now i will just turn off the analysis tool section analysis tool so we'll be able to see the full body we'll select these two profiles by activating extrude tool we'll change the direction to symmetric and we'll uh, make it cut by providing the distance so here you can see i'm going to use a distance of 35 millimeter here you can see and it is making a cut on the body and now i will press ok so this is the result we got so this is our final result so this is what we had created uh, inside fusion 360 just by following some simple tools that are very easy to use and if you want to learn with me you just practice with me uh, you just open fusion 360 on your pc and start watching this tutorial and start doing the things side by side so this way you can learn uh, faster also download the technical drawing from the video description below i have provided the link there so that will help you to learn fusion 360 faster still if you have any questions just uh, don't forget to comment below in the video so now we are going to uh, apply some material over on this body so we'll go to the modify tool over here and appearance and here you can see i'm going to, going to change the appearance of this body so i will just going to search over here as metal appearance so here you can see we got multiple appearances over here so i'm going to use this red uh, appearance so here you can see now it is looking like a red aluminium part so yeah, i will just save this part because i don't want to lose data so if you have any questions or doubt uh, you can just comment below in the video and if you are new to my channel then i will strongly recommend you to go and check it out our other videos as well because we had lots of good tutorials on our channel about fusion 360 there are some cool playlists where you can learn fusion 360 from scratch and create some practical projects so guys uh, if you are new to this channel then uh, please subscribe to this channel